Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Heavy Rain again. So this is the second episode for this game. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I gotta admit, the music in this game is so dramatically funny. I mean, I know we just got off a serious moment, if you remember the ending of the first episode, where Jason got killed, since he r got ran over by a car. But still, this music, it's so cliche, I can't take this game seriously. I really can't. Okay. Okay, <laughs> what's up with these people looking at the screen? Like, that's so random. Man, this place. I mean, I know this place is a dump, but it's really setting up the mood for some depressing shit. You can tell this game is outdated as well by the graphics. Again, why with... Why with the people looking at the camera like that? Oh, motion capture? I didn't know they do that. Yeah, this is outdated. This is the longest intro I had to endure. Like, hurry up! Get to it! Finally. Okay, so this is t this takes place two years later. He's standing in the rain like the emo that he is. Man, aren't you? Dude, you're gonna get sick. Like, get an umbrella. Hey, what's up? Hi, Sean. Damn, no hugs, no kisses, no what's up, like, he just walked past him. I have a good feeling that this kid isn't really into hanging out with the dad. I'm driving in the rain, you better have some good tires because I swear to god. Hey buddy, you good? How's school? What did you learn today? You really not gonna talk to him? Dude, just talk to your kid. You have time. Like, what, what are you gonna rush for? You really not gonna talk to your kid? Wow. That's why he hates you. Okay, so where are we going? Again with the dramatic music. I'm literally driving. Why are we having the dramatic music? Like... It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Wow, so he, wow, so the wife and husband separated because of the fact that the kid died. Damn, this place is a dump, bro, like. I like how the only good part about this is how good the cartoons are. Greece has Sean this weekend. 
It seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. I mean, do you have Wi-Fi? Because he'll stay longer if that's the case. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Okay. Time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. Mm, I'm hungry. What snacks you got? I wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. Alright, let's go to the reminder board in the kitchen. Let me see. 4.30 snack. 6 o'clock homework. 7 o'clock dinner. And 8 o'clock bed. Wait, you're gonna give him an hour to eat and digest? Dude, he's gonna get a tummy ache. I don't know, man. That's... I think that's too soon to go to bed, to be honest. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why I stopped playing this game. It's the angles for me. Like, I hate it. How did I get over there if I was looking at the board? Bye. What time is it? Where's the clock? What time? It is... Pass his snack, bro. Give him some snacks. Like, snack? It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's what? see what we can find in the kitchen. Licorice. Because he's... <laughs> How much you want if it's licorice? He seems like a licorice kind of cut. Let me see. What's, what's here? What's in the snack drawer? What's that? Candy? Uh, a bar? Let's go. Here you go, honey. Some snacky- Why are you walking away, bro? I just- Bro, I have your- Wow. Wow! How the hell are you gonna run away when I'm about to give you your snack? You know what? Don't eat, you little shithead. I'm gonna put this back. Uh, all right, so okay, okay. Let me try again. Let me try again. Hey, little guy, I got you your snacky snack. Hello, answer me. Oh my god, snacky snack. Hello, there you go. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. Wow, that's the first time I've seen him smile ever since he got here. That is so sad that he's happy to have a snack more than happy to see me. Alright, it's... How the hell did it took me almost half an hour? What the hell type of time is this? You know what? Let's do homework now. We might as well at this rate. By the time I get over there, it's going to be like 6 o'clock. Alright, homework. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. First of all, Later, how, okay? how are you going to ask him if he wants to do homework? You got to say, hey, let's do homework now. Why are you asking right, him? Um, come back a little what? Later. Are you kidding me? Bye. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Yo, he really doesn't want to talk to you. Yo, homework! Dinner? Do you want me to get your dinner? No, thanks. I'm not hungry yet. How are you asking him? Bro, let's Sean, do homework. I want to do your homework now. Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while. No! Longer. We're going to do homework here. now! Okay. No, you're not going to tell me what to do. I think we should just get right to it. I think? What? Get your bag and... Get set up in the kitchen. Yo, why are you I'll so you. passive about this, bro? Turn that, turn that shit off. How are you gonna ask him if he wants to do stuff? Bro, you gotta be like, let's do homework now. I don't know. Alright, let, let me see how long it took me to say that. Almost 6 o'clock, it took me like 23, 24 minutes. Wow, that's crazy. <sighs> I gotta tell you... This time thing in this game is bunkers. Like, it's moving hella fast for me. Alright. <laughs> What's for homework? It better not be math because you're on your own on that shit. <laughs> so, 
So you're just gonna stare at him, bro? Help him! Why is there dramatic music? Like, he's literally doing homework! You see, I can't take this game seriously. How- How is it that there's dramatic music for the simplest of things? That don't make any sense to me. I wonder what type of homework you got. I'm done. I can't. Alright, so... Let me see here. While he's doing his homework... Let me see what time it is. It's 6.15 almost. So let me get started on dinner. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Already? Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you. Appreciate you. Like, that took, what, 10, 15 minutes? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Aw, look at him. Little guy. So cute. But anyways, let's go make dinner, bro. Like, dinner is around the corner, so... What the hell is this? No, no! What the hell is this? A pizza? A TV dinner? Random bags of vegetables? I can tell you're single as hell. What the hell is this? Oh my god! I <sighs> I'm shaking. Aggressively. Ew, Corona. Gobble, gobble. You don't need to gulp that loud, bro. Like, that's outrageous. No, but seriously, what's for dinner? Because... Are you... Bro! Dinner! Okay, fine. I guess you don't have enough food for dinner, bro? Like, this is why Sean doesn't want to come see you. Like, I wouldn't want to come see you, too! There's no food to eat! The hell? It's almost seven. Where's the dinner? Like, Din Din, hello? No? You really not gonna make dinner? Yo, you buggin'. That's why your ass is all Alright, so none of us are eating tonight because... So, you wanna talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends? How things are going? Nothing special. He really does not want to do anything with you. That's crazy. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Damn! <laughs> Yo! Yo! That is funny. You know what? Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but... I never go to bed this early. Yeah, well, you're annoying, so let's go to no, bed. You're going to bed now. It won't do you any harm to go to bed early for once. You're mean. You just want me to get out of the way so you can have some peace. I hate you. <laughs> Bored of you to assume I actually care about your opinion. <laughs> okay. Wow. You know how kids are, bro. Don't take it to the heart, man. He's just mad. That's all. Oh, okay. What's this? Yes, yeah, sit in there. Think about what your life is coming to at the moment. You just lost your kid, your wife divorced, and now your other kid hates you. How you feel, bro? How you feel? What's this? Ooh, we just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. 
The children have never been seen again. Is that haiku? Yes! Or a poem, sorry. Yes! That's a good poem! Fantastic! Next! Yes, let's turn on all the lights so the electricity bill will be a thousand! Like how it is with with my roommate's bill! Yeah, his bill was a thousand dollars. I was so upset, but that's for another day. Are you serious? Ew, I don't want to watch you pee. I'm no pervert. You know what? Let's flush. What the hell kind of toilet is that? You press a button and it flushes? See, you're not poor, you're rich. Because my toilet doesn't even do that. You know you gotta wash your hands since you touch your little pee pee. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's check on this little brat. Hey, you still hate me? Um, okay. Yo, what? He. Wow, this kid has PTSD. I can tell. I bet he has hello resentment towards his dad, just like how the wife has resentment towards him. But the thing is, it's not his fault. It's that dumbass kid's fault. How are you gonna go and run away from your parent? And then cross the street without looking both ways? Of course your ass is gonna get hit! Whatever. Leave me alone! I hate you! Shut the hell up. You're only just saying that because you can't even watch your cartoons. Anyways. Whoa, what's this? You good? Yo, breathe in and out slowly, my boy. Breathe in, breathe out slowly. You got this. Where the hell am I? You dead ass sleepwalked into downtown! What is that? An origami of a dog? Okay. Alright, well... Let's get out of here, bro, because this is ridiculous. You literally just left your kid alone in the house. If the wife finds out, that's it. Alright, so it is Tuesday. 6 a.m. because... Why not? I guess people wake up this early. I can't really relate, but whatever. Alright, so right now I'm playing as a detective, I'm assuming, based off of the outfit. So let's see what's going on. Alright, I am in a dingy, suspicious motel. Couch is all nasty. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Okay, whatever. Well, how about this? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the you left. You sold yourself floor. for five bucks? Bro, do better. Make him work for it. If it was me, I would have been like, give me a hundred, then I'll say all the details you want. But five dollars? You suck. You mad cheap and easy. Five dollars. All right, let's go. This place is nasty as hell. What are those? And the rug's ugly. Finally. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. 
Uh. Wait. Dude, I'm not trying to fuck you. It's I just want to talk. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? 10 minutes for 50 bucks, bro. That is... Whew. All right. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. I'm not trying to Actually, do any I'm not stuff. A oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want? A freebie? Is that it? No, bro. I just got. I just gave you fifty bucks. I My just name is Scott have Shelby. Some I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. No, I have ten minutes, bro. <sighs> okay. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Damn, you're... Ugh, come on, bro. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. Damn. But, but, but you're right. Damn. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. Hit her right in the spot, bro. Make her feel guilty. I love it. What do you want to know? Oh, now you want to talk. Okay. Uh, let's do... Is that it? No more questions? Bro, let me think. Calm down. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. Okay. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. Okay, don't worry about it. I mean, sex work is still work after all. You gotta pay the bills, so... You want one? No, I'm good. No thanks, I quit. That's brave. That cancer stick, though. It's gonna get you one of these days. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. Okay. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that. To my Johnny. And all those other kids. When did you sound the alarm? About eight o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. That's mad late. Like five hours? That's mad late, bro. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Damn. Now get out of here. Okay, calm down, bro. Fine, I'll leave. I'm sorry your son's dead. I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, thank you for your time. Appreciate that. <laughs> Yo, are you good? Yo, breathe, breathe! Are you good? You got asthma? Asthma? 
There you go. You scared me, bro. Holy cow. You good? Lauren. <sighs> Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dal. But I really wanted to see you. Uh, that's right. Nope, not my watch. Nope. Fuck out of here. Hello? Open up the door. Open up. What do you want, asshole? Really? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Are you serious, bro? Nope. Uh. Yup. There you go. There you go. You think it's fun taking advantage of a woman? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. And what? And what? How about you pick someone your own size? Nope. Not my watch. Damn, there goes the oranges. Come on. Come on. Come on, beat his ass. Come on, come on, come on. Right in the head, right in the head. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. Boom. Hell yeah. Come on. You think... You wish. You wish. Come on, come on, come on. That's right, WWE! These hands are for everyone, let's go. Now, bro, you think you can hit me? Come on, do something. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. Now this is the right time to have dramatic music. There you go. Asso Mimo. You think you can beat her around just because she's a woman? Fuck out of here. Nope. 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 Let's go. Boom. Doma. There you go. In what? I'll see you again, asshole. And I'll be right here. Come get it. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. <sighs> Restraining order. Uh, you should Some be careful. pepper spray. Probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Yeah, I'm sorry about your taper, bro. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Anytime, bro. Oh. Pepper spray, girl. Get a pepper spray, a dog, a taser, anything. Because you need that. Okay, well, this is the end of the second episode of Heavy Rain. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.